It's a white bag, everyone. What could it be? Could it be... Where? From its... Where does it come from? There's no identifying marks on here except for my address on the front sheet. And it does say it's logged for Timu. So we have a Timu haul. This is a sponsored haul. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm so happy that you found me. And I'm going to try to not screech or get my voice up there. But um, I do hauls, reviews, um, crafts, nails on this channel. So I'm so glad you found me. And I hope you'll stay to watch the whole thing. And if you're returning, thank you very much. Your support means everything. And it keeps the channel growing. So thank you, everyone. And I hope you're having a wonderful day. Um, I pretty sure I'm going to air this on the Eclipse Monday. I did a Mask Monday this morning, so hopefully you'll have a chance to take a look at that. And if I have any giveaways, they'll be below in the description box. Now, I do have one going on, so have a look there. And hopefully you caught my haul with my friend April from Menopause and Madness. So that was a fun thing. We met up and did that. Um, so this is a sponsored haul. It is the 2024 New Tech campaign from Timu. They provided me the seating money and I was able to go in and select items that I wanted to review and unbox on this channel. So we're going to do that, okay? I will have prices for you as well as um, everything in the description box, okay? So if you're new to Timu and... Maybe you've just been holding out because you're not sure, you don't trust it, or you're not sure what to do. Timu is an online marketplace. Do you shop online? Have you shopped elsewhere online? Well, take a look at Timu because they offer the same or very similar products from every category you can think about. And I used to say except for food, but um, lately they are expanding. And I know that they're doing some distribution within the U.S. So some things are being sent directly or maybe they've contracted with these companies directly in the U.S. So they're able to ship some food products now. So we did try some, jump, uh, some gummies um, when I did the haul with uh, April. And I did notice that they had this one product that looked like chicken nuggets. And it said it was made with chicken fibers. It, I don't know. I'm, I'm probably not going to try that one. But um, if you have, let me know in the comments. Or if you would try that, let me know. Oh, I'm going to put on my earrings. So these are earrings from Timu. And this necklace set, this is from Simply Jessica Marie had sent this to me. And I put the, I put the necklace on today. But I meant to put on the earrings before I started filming. And I forgot. So here we go. They're really pretty and I have not worn them yet. So I wanted to wear them for this video. So back to Timu. What is Timu? So the online marketplace. What's great about Timu is actually I've had great customer service with them. So if you find that you get something that you're unsatisfied with or it's broken or it just wasn't the item that you expected, um, you can go straight onto your order request a refund and that can be up to 90 days from purchase. I, I think it's from the time it's it's ordered. And then they also do price adjustments. So if because they're dealing with a lot of competitor suppliers and um, if you if the price goes up or down and you go and check your order on a daily basis, you can get a price adjustment just by clicking the price adjustment. So if you have one that little option will be there under that item or order and it'll say price adjustment you click on that and it'll go back to um, either your original payment with form of payment which could be a credit card or PayPal or what however you did it or it can go back as credits some people don't have options for either one or just one and um, one time I did have it just as a credit then they switched and now it goes back to my original payment which I use PayPal. I just think that just kind of works really well for me. Okay, so let's get into this haul. I've chatted enough. I think you got it. Now, I do have a discount code. Let me just tell you that real quick. Sorry. Discount code. So if you're a new app user with the Timu program um, and you want to make a purchase, use my code FAV70814. And I'll have that up on the screen here. Now, when you go into Timu, put that into the search bar. First thing you do, okay, 
put my code in the search bar. Then you start to select your items that you want to um, purchase. Um, you're going to save 30% on your first order. Then after your first order, you're going to be granted um, a coupon bundle uh, at up to $100. And they'll be that $100 will be split up for various orders, um, future orders. So there you go. You're going to get some coupons. You're going to get some savings on your first order. And um, take advantage of that first order because some of those deals do not exist again after that. Now they have really low prices going forward on everything. Kids clothes, pet, animal, toys, bedding, any carriers, anything you can think of, kitchen gadgets, tools, clothing for all everyone in your family. So I wish um, I had found Timu or I wish they existed when my kids were younger because they had some stinking deals. Okay, so on to the tech. Now, if you watch my channel for a moment, you're going to know that I just love tech gadgets. I really do. And here's the first bag that's in that big bag. And we're going to pull out this first item. And this first item is a, oh, okay, so this is an HD video cam um, camera. Let's see. Uh... I don't recall getting this. <laughs> I don't recall picking this one out. I thought I got a different one, but maybe this is it. Um, let's take a look, okay? Oh, maybe this is it. 16X digital zoom 2.4 screen. Okay, so it comes in this box like this. And it was $20.49. So I figured, why not try it? I'd love to have a camera in my car that I don't have to worry about, you know, and if I'm out and about, that maybe it would be something. Now, biggest thing when I do recording is I like to be able to have a screen that pops out so I can see it. So I think this one does it. Oh, it's so spanking cool. Okay, so you have your um, charging cord here. Then, I'm gonna put this bag down because I'm about to drop it. We have quite a few things to get through, so I better get going. So hopefully you have a beverage with you. You have your directions here, okay? And just real quick, let me glance at these. We know I don't like to read directions, but um, SD card slot, USB, lens cover, power, okay, snap. All right, okay, pretty common. Um, zoom in, zoom out. Menu up, down, mode, okay, left. Okay, so, oh, and it takes three double A, or I don't know how many it takes. It takes triple A, oh, two triple A batteries. Okay, great. I might even have some right here. I just bought some from my other favorite place in town that cost $1.25. <laughs> That's so funny. Like you don't know what I mean. <laughs> So Timu has been very good. I wish they would come back and start negotiating with some of their suppliers to bring back, one, bring back some of those outstanding deals. Now, they still have outstanding deals. I'm not going to lie. If I can find it at Timu cheaper, I'm going to buy it at Timu. And I, hands down, they still have those deals. So I still do it. This is a very lightweight camera without even the battery. So there's what it looks like. It's got a lanyard here for the lens cap so you don't drop that. Now, it doesn't look like you can change out the lens. Okay, that doesn't even seem to move. Okay, so let's let's put it, oh, but this is the key thing. This is what I was looking for. So when you're recording, if you're doing a selfie video, you're gonna be able to see it. So you can put this up on a stand on a tripod. That's awesome. Um, okay, let's get some batteries in here. Plus, pretty simple, pretty simple. Okay. It's the cord. Does it work without batteries? I don't know what that cord is for. Oh, that cord is probably for transferring your videos if you didn't have a, MC, a memory card. Okay, so we put the batteries in, I think. Okay, we are going to power it on right there very clearly. Came right on. No cards, so I'm probably not going to be able to save anything. 
The only thing is this piece, but for $20, if you're looking for a camera, let's see. How's that gonna look? I wonder how that's gonna record. We're gonna have to test this out. And yeah, I'm gonna need a card in here first. Well, luckily I thought of that. And I did get, let's see, menu, resolution. So we want the resolution. Oh, okay, this has high, it looks like 4K resolution. Does it say that on there? It does look like it has 4K. Um, it says 1080p, but I can go up as high as 40, 4,032 by 4,032. And that's higher than I usually record at just because the memory is so, it takes a lot of memory. So I'm just going to say what I normally record at. Okay. Why am I, what happened? I think my batteries are dead. <laughs> Yep. Okay, prompt for low battery. Yep. Okay, so batteries are duds. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get some other batteries. I will take a look at this and I will give you an update on this. But for $20 and 49 cents, I'm wondering if some of you out there are looking for a camera to try and, you know, do some of the work on your channels with it instead of using your phone. Now, the big thing will be sound so it does have a microphone i'm interested to hear how the sound quality is on this um, i'm currently using a sony and i can't remember the brand but um it has a microphone on it it's got uh the adjustable i mean it's a very you know higher end camera than this and i'm gonna be curious if this would meet the need of somebody especially starting out and if it does we might just do a giveaway with this, okay? So this might go in my 10,000 um, subscriber giveaway, okay? So I'll take a look at it, see if it's something that somebody else would want, and maybe we'll put that in that giveaway, okay? Because I did get it, you know, at no cost to myself as a nice little um, freebie for doing the campaign here with Timu. So I appreciate that. I appreciate all that Timu does to help us review things on here for you. And we will, um, I'll have to give you an update on that. I'm gonna come right back because I think my dog wants in. They have separation anxiety since I've been gone. And so they wanna be back in, so I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So that was just one item. Let's get into the next item. Oh, so here's the memory card. So this is a, um, what do they call it? High speed, high performance. It is a micro or, you know, the mini memory card. I had plenty of adapters for this, so I needed a new one. And that was, that memory card is, how, how, they put the label right on top of it. But I got the 256 megabytes for $2.49. That is a bargain. And then next we have in here, so this is the most sturdiest one I've ever seen. So I've had bought, I have bought, especially last year, I tried on a couple different devices. I think one worked, they were plastic and one and the one that worked eventually gave out. Now I used the heck out of it, so I got my money's worth. I mean, it was a dollar or something like that. This one is $4.49, it is a four-in-one SDTF card reader. Now these are really great to have when you're trying to transfer from a device to one, from one device to another. And what I liked about this is it has the USB-C, it has the lightning, connection for iPhone, USB-C for many devices now, and then it has a USB port right here. And then here you have the micro, so you don't even need the adapter, and then the standard size of the memory card reader. So in all reality, this should just work like this. I should be able to plug this in here to my phone. Okay, so one problem already. That's gonna be a bummer if I can't get that to function the way
Okay, I was afraid for a second that with this curvature here, that it wasn't gonna seat 100% against my phone. Okay, so let's go to my, I don't have a memory card. In. <laughs> I know I have memory cards around here. Hmm, I guess well, we could just open this one up. We're gonna open this one up. Because my problem was I was not able on all the devices on all the adapters that I was trying to utilize last year, wasn't able to get it to actually recognize the device that was plugged in. Okay, so if you are familiar with this, now I open my photos up. I'm gonna put this into here. And there's only, if you know nothing about memory cards, just know there's only one way they can fit in. And if they don't fit in the way you first put them in, turn it around and play, plug it in again. Okay? And then you'll find it's going to fit. They can typically only fit in one direction. Now, I should be able to go to Files first. And then I'm going to Browse. And I want to get out of my browse and back and then it's going to stay on the phone and then you can select your phone or you can select your device. So a lot of times these devices and it recognized it so I'm super happy about that. It recognized it. It says no name to it and it says empty. Well that's awesome because before it would not it would say untitled which is fine. It recognized the device. So look for those kind of things in your files here. And then you're going to say, see all the different options I have here. So one is called no name. That's what this is because it has not been named. And then I should be able to save files to it. I should be able to transfer files from one device to another through this. So this, I have high hopes that this is going to function the right way it's supposed to. And yeah, so that's a winner for that price. I'm very happy with it. Now, do I have to um, eject it properly? Um, no, there's no, there's no, uh, no problem with that. It will just disappear when I unplug it and it does. Okay. All right. So I'm happy about that. Now I wish it would, let me just take one more look at this and see if it will see. So with my case, I have such a thick case on it. I have to take the case off to use that. Okay. So we're going to put that back in here. That's a you, I'm happy about that. Oh, I gotta put this back in here so I don't lose this. So, okay, that's two items. We just got three because the memory card. Let's go back to our Timu order. And of course, like I, if I haven't said it before, this was all provided to me. It is sponsored. They did provide all this for free. Okay, so I got it rechargeable headlight. Now I've seen other headlights, you know, and I thought this might be good when I'm working on my jewelry or diamond painting um, to have a little bit of extra light. I don't know. I'm going to try it. This one had like four lights from the picture's view. I could not tell. Get your charging cable, which is about two inches long. <laughs> You get a head gear wrap there. Look at how big this is. This is a honking. Okay, so this was $3.99. Oh my gosh. Look at how huge that is. Okay, so I'm gonna put that on my head. <laughs> we did. Oh my gosh. Okay, so does this take batteries? Uh rechargeable. It's supposed to be rechargeable. Okay, I gotta put all these straps on. Give me okay, whatever. Okay, so that looks like that's the part up there. So we'll make that the headband. And they have this little piece back here where you're sliding your straps on. Yeah, I think that's where it's gonna go. I don't know what that is. Oh, I see, so that would come out. Oh, so you can adjust it. Okay, so we're gonna get, hold on everybody. Let me get this all on. I'm trying to fit these loops around the strap loops so that I can get it all put together. Okay, that's pretty easy. That's easy there. It is adjustable. Of course, I did this all backwards. Oh my goodness. Okay. We want the adjustable part that way. 
and that this can go this way. Okay, so let's do this here. So it's adjustable both bands, both on the top and on the sides. And we're going to put that in there. And my dogs are going to be right at the door here any second. They just cannot stand to be away from me right now. We were gone for several days and they were so cute together. But okay, so we have this. Here we go. Now, is there a button up here? There's the power button. Ooh. So you can have all five on. I don't want to blind you. Okay, I'm going to have to adjust that up a little bit more. Oh, I can totally see, and I don't even, the biggest part is the strap going around. I'm going to have to like really figure out a way that makes that comfortable because it seems to like be wanting to squish up and like come off. So I think I have to either loosen it if I can. I don't think I can. There's not much to loosen, but I don't know. I mean, you're not going to have a great hairstyle while you're doing it. But I can see, oh my gosh. So, yeah, when I'm at home working on the jewelry, this is going to be ideal. Oh, highly recommend this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not a fashion statement. This is not for fashion, okay? It's a, totally a you tear, tear, totally for use, okay? It's a practical item and it's going to work if you're trying to meet a certain need. And I like how it's rechargeable, no cords, no batteries. My gosh, that's awesome. And I love how you can adjust this. And it's got a tight hold, so where, wherever you position this, it's going to stay. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I think this might be my favorite thing. I am loving this. And then it has, let's see, has, so like if you're out at night, hiking or whatever you do out in the woods and need some extra light and then it has that flashing light for security so that's awesome so yeah I guess I can make this a little looser okay that's Oscar could be another package so I always forget to turn off the camera on the front of the house when I'm expecting packages because my husband gets notified every time they come to the front door and he texted me today he goes um looks like the packages are piling up outside now to be fair I didn't they weren't like all you know stuff for me it was stuff for everybody okay so dang it why didn't I turn off that switch somebody needs to send me a reminder every day okay we're gonna put that back in that box moving on Moving on, my orange Timu bag. What is this? Got two more things in here. Okay. So I saw, hey everybody, haul one, and I was looking at these. These are camera detectors. I don't know if this is the same one she got, but it's a camera detector, hotel anti-camera. So um, I thought this would be good because uh, I did. Hold on. What are you doing? Come here. You want to say hello? You want some loves? So Mia wants to say hellos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to have a little love break here for a second. Go get your refills on your beverages. Oh my gosh, now Oscar's here. Oh my goodness. Okay, you guys. <laughs> Oscar. <laughs> okay, I'm getting mauled. This is how it was when we first picked them up. Okay, he thinks he's a lap dog. He is not. Okay, you guys, I'll be right back. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm back. I got slobbered by a dog. Okay. All right. So the next item is this, like I was starting to say about the anti-camera things, especially if I travel and, um, you know, stay in hotels. So let's take a look at this. It's 315. You good? How many cords do I have? I have my third cord now. <laughs> this looks like USB-C connector too. So if you have a high speed charging cable for that. Now I got the white one. I said it was 315. Your cord goes charging there. And it looks like that. I don't know what's going to happen. 
I need to read the directions. Oh, there's no directions. Oh, yes, there are. Okay, so it may not be charged yet. Hold the button in. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, you look through it. Well, I just see my face. Oh, so you're going to see the red light. I bet you you're going to see the red light. I don't know. I don't know what you're going to see. I think that's what she um, came to the realization of, too. Erin was like, yeah, I'm not sure what you can see. Um, please read instructions carefully. Long press switch, short press between first gear red light and second gear red flashing light. Close eyes to the red filter. Oh, well, I, I didn't do that. Okay, close eyes. Close eyes. Eyes close. Close? close to the red filter lens, scan the environment through the window, and reflect the red spots on the camera. Okay, yeah, so you know how like in movies you'll see like a red light? So it's not like it's gonna alarm you that you have cameras up, but I have those like little cameras. I'm gonna hide them and see if this really finds it. But you're supposed to be able to look in your room and see if you see that little red dot that indicates a camera is on. Okay, so how do I turn this off? Press and hold and turns it off. Okay. All right, I think we got that one figured out. I'm happy to have that because I'm gonna, like if you're in a hotel room or some B&B &B that's owned by somebody else and you just don't know, you don't know what people are up to lately. So that's going in my suitcase. Now, what is this? I don't even, I don't even remember what this is. It says 200 watt power inverter. Oh, for the car, for the car. Okay, so we travel like we just did and we sometimes run out of connections or we don't have a block or we have a block. Anyway, this, so not many cars have these anymore, although you might want to check your back or in the console between the seats because they do still offer these outlets in those cars, even as much as a couple years ago when I got mine. So um, this has uh, two, like three USBs. One is a 2.4, one is a 3 version three, you have a USB-C, you have plugs. So some of your outlets don't, some of the things you want to charge in your car don't have this USB-C. So you're going to have a plug here too. And I thought that's cool. And then I'm guessing that right there is so you can store it that way, or maybe you have something else to plug in. I don't know. I'm just rambling right now because I just don't know what goes in that. I gotta find the uh, English version. Oh, it's the first one. I think that's a DC 12 volt in that, which is the same thing as this. Okay, so you could like piggyback off of this. So that's pretty cool. How much was this? This was $18.49, so what a cool little device. Um, I'll be happy to try that out, especially with the plugs. I'm anxious to see how well that, that actually works out. Let's get this back in here. Okay, put the directions in. So I'm finding myself needing them lately. Oh goodness, what's wrong with me? Okay. One, two. We've got quite a few things in this haul. Okay, that was that bag, but I have some other stuff coming here. Let's just show you that. So, look how big this is. I think this is a vlogging photo studio LED video fill lamp light panel. It's supposed to be 11 inches, and it is $23.99. And I've seen other people haul this, but not the 11 inch. I've seen 10 inches. And first thing, this is metal. That's cool. 
Oh, it's got a nice tripod. Okay. Okay. I'm, oh, got to loosen that. Okay, let's loosen that up. How do we do this? There we go. We'll tighten the feet. So I've had other um, tripods and lights and ring lights and things like that. But what happens with, especially over time, I don't know what happens. The, they get stripped or they fall down and they don't hold as well as they once did. So this just screws on like this. Let's put this together right now. Wait, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna have ring. <laughs> it's gonna be like Big Brother in my house. Every room's gonna be set up for filming. My kids are they're hating it. They're hating it. They're not in the videos, but they're like, oh gosh, enough already. But I do different things in different areas. Oh, this really expands long too. How far? So this instructions. It's just a photo. It doesn't tell me. That part doesn't tell me, but this might. Oh, I can't clip on it. Okay, Mia, I'll be right there. She's really um, doesn't want to be a part. This goes probably about six feet. No, I'm 5'2". It's a little taller than me, maybe 5'5". Five five. Okay, and then here's the panel. Woohoo! look how big this panel is. That's cool. So it's got a cap on the end to protect it. In here you have, oh, you have another ball here. So uh, another connection where you can adjust the angle of the camera. I'm not the camera, the, um, you could put the camera on this tripod though, let me tell you. So I'm gonna put that here first in between the end and here so I can adjust the angle of this light. Plus you could use this when you're working on stuff to aim it down towards whatever you're working on. Why not? Okay. And then you have a USB connection with the controller. Plus minus power. So we'll take that off. I'm going to put this on here. So how are you doing? Did anybody, in, did you guys get to watch the eclipse? I watched it on TV. Because <laughs> we don't, we didn't have much. It did get a little like mm, darker. Like we only had like 30% vision to it. So, I mean, it wasn't like it was going to really impact much here. But on TV, it like went dark. I mean, I watched people in different parts of the country. So I think just for those purposes, we'll, we'll lower this. I don't need to be so gigantic with this light right now. Um, there. And it looked really cool. There were like uh, one part of the country, and I didn't pay attention because I was doing other stuff, but it was on. They had like, I don't know, 30 couples got married so that their first their first thing doing together, they got married, and then right before the eclipse actually happened 100%, that was their first thing that they did together is watch the eclipse as a married family, or a married couple. I mean, some might be families, I don't know yet. Okay, so we plug that in. Yeah. What does this button do? Oh, it changes it from warm to cold. And then you can lower it. Now, this is the feature I wanted to see. Yeah. Oh, wow, I can see everything on my desk now. Okay, all right. I don't want this cord hanging across me though. That's a great deal. Okay, so I like that light. That light's gonna function very well for me. It's lightweight. I like that the tripod is uh, expandable in three different sections here because the legs can go out more or come up for height. And I like how large. It's not a ring. It's a, a panel of light. Um, 
and I like how it's adjustable at the top. So that's a win for me. That I don't know. I still I still like this as one of my favorite. I mean that camera could come in. I like the adapter. I still have other things to show you. So I'm act, I know I'm act, acting like I'm wrapping up, but I'm not. I, I like everything I've picked here. So that was $23.99. Now we have a couple other things to show you. Another Timu bag. Now this item here, this is one I've seen other people haul different things last year. I think um, maybe I got a different one this year. And this is called the Auto Tracking Phone Holder Auto Face Tracking Tripod Portable All-in-One. And it comes in black and pink. I Guess what color I got. It's $20.99. So if you're doing those craft project videos, things like that, or if you're trying to record your kids' birthdays and watching them move around, I, I mean, maybe that's going to work. And here it is. So got another cord here. Have some directions. And it's the matte muted pink color. It has a stand to it. It's going to look like that, but pink. Startup device, standby device, 360 horizontal rotation face tracking. Um, so it should hold your phone. And Oh, it comes in white also. And you can have it vertical or horizontal. Your camera can it should be able to hold it it should be able to hold your camera in one of those positions. Okay. So what's also nice is it does fit a tripod or the stand. Does that come off? Yep. It's got a little coat. They always have little covers on them. So we're going to put that on here. Now, sitting or walking. So you can set. I remember reading about this a little bit. So let's see. Well, we have my phone right here, so a lot of times I have to take my phone out of the cases. Ooh, I don't know if it's going to hold my phone. Hmm, how does this work? Okay, so this should rotate. Okay, so that will rotate. That's what rotates your phone. Okay, so let's see if we can get my phone to actually fit in here. It's a tight fit. So it's not going to drop your phone. My phone does fit. I kind of make sure it's between the buttons because it always I always end up. So it's a very tight fit for the phone. I have a 14 Pro Plus, I think. And um, let's just see if we can do this camera thing here. Um, this here. Okay. So it doesn't adjust up or down. So you'd want to sit it where you want it to rotate. Um, it's going to be a fixed figure here. We're going to turn it on, see if it has any juice in it. And it does. Now it's on. Okay. Hi. Hi. Oh, it is. It is turning when I move. I don't know if it's totally. Okay. So I have to remember where I'm looking because that's where it's aiming from the camera to my face. Okay. So if I move this way, it's moving. Do you see it moving? It's following me. Wow. <laughs> Maybe I will put that video clip up here, okay? Because I just, rec oh, I didn't even record that, sorry. I could record it. It keeps wanting to show my wall that's not covered. Like, after this curtain here, I have some soundproofing panels and then the door. So, oh, it's moving down the bottom. Okay, so I don't know if it's following my voice as much as this. I might have to calibrate this, figure out how I do that. But it definitely is moving with my face and it's pretty live. Like, I don't see any stutter to it, which I had read about some of these having that stutter. But you can also pause it. Wait, okay, so let's see here. And of course, my recording's still going while I'm doing this. Oh no, I never hit the record. 
Okay, so, oh, I see. I can move that up or down if I'm seated. If I'm seated, not seated. Nobody does that. Okay, so then it should just follow my head. That's better. So I have it so where I'm sitting. Aw, Mia wants in. So we're almost done, Mia. Go lay down, honey. Okay, we'll cancel that here. Okay, turn that off. That That's going to be interesting. And see how that all works out. Next, I got this. Oh, I have to get back to my screen where I have my Timu order. Okay, so did I tell you the price of that? That was $20.99. Then I got this just for fun, everyone. This is Okay, so I got the Jellyfish Lava Lamp here. And this is for fun. It's $11.79. And... What I might do is put in a clip up here of what it looks like when it's all put together. But you pull it out here, and it has remember the lava lamps. So it has like little two little jellyfish that should um, just float up and down, and then it has the light. So I'll put a picture up, um, a little video. So I'll put this all together and show you that in a minute. So you should be able to see that right now. Then the last item I got was this. I think it's the last item. And this item here is a set of A4. So it's a 96 Creative Color Black Leather Light Box for $12.49. And it comes like this. And I'm interested to see all the pieces that you get for it. So I could put up like a little, you know, happy birthday or happy solar eclipse day happy 4th of July here we go we have a USB card or um, charger cord now I don't know if it has to be plugged in to be working and then it comes with all the letters several letter sets here I wonder if I can get extras because these are all in color these are not oh but I'm wondering huh Met. Oh, so you do get like some birthday balloons. Some emojis are in here. Let's just see, because I'm not seeing emojis in here yet. Oh yeah, they have them. Will this just turn on without the... So it has to be plugged. Oh, there's batteries though. There's batteries set here. So it looks like it takes a ton of batteries. <laughs> Double A, it takes six double A batteries. So you could use that or you could just plug it in and make your message up here. So I will probably do something at the end of this video and show you that. So that is my haul, my sponsored haul from Timu, which I just am addicted to and love. And when I go out to any other store and I see stuff and I I have to check Timu first. I I just, I don't know. It's weird because it does make me feel like I'm more aware of pricing now than I have been ever in my life. And I've always tried to watch pricing, but it seems like it makes me more aware because now I'm aware of lower prices on Timu. I don't, I won't, I will wait. Now their shipping does take some time, about eight days and sometimes a little longer, 14, 8 to 14 days is what I would say is a good guesstimate. I think they're trying to improve that because they are working with more U.S. distributors now, and I think things might 
change. I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. So if you like this haul and you like my videos, hit the thumbs up. Uh, hit the thumbs down. That's still um, telling Timu that I'm connecting with you on some level and shows interaction and it's a good thing. So up or down, whatever you prefer, uh, I respect your opinion and I appreciate it. So up or down, of course we are we're we're trying to get pluses, but um, yeah. And if you haven't subscribed, I invite you to do that. It's totally free. It shows YouTube that you're here, and it keeps the channel growing. And I think that's it for now. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you next time. Bye.